Columbus module on the left-hand side of Harmony. And uh, Aki on Space to Ground 2, looking at step 2 there, we're in ISS attitude control, we have good power, and uh, your go for the unberth. I know you guys are busy and all, but uh, JPM's coming out of the bay. Hey, look at that. Oh, very cool. This view from inside the shuttle's cargo bay of the back of the Cargo Bay in the end of Kibo. Nice job. Thank you. You got that break of trucks? I am. How's it going? Good. I just picked this one free float. Using the, using the Mike Thompson technique. <laughs> and Ron, uh, you're making quick work of this, so I think. Uh, you go for finishing all four of them, and okay. then uh, come back and put the ratchet pinch away. All right. Oh, my pedal reaches. Yeah, me too. Another view of the Kibo module as it makes its journey to its permanent home on the Harmony node being removed from the shuttle's payload bay. Shuttle and station are now about 219 miles above New Zealand as the spacewalk continues. Mike Bossom's still working on trying out some of those cleaning techniques on the solar alpha rotary joint while Ron Guerin has moved on to some get ahead tasks. Okay, copy. Understand you're going for number two. Okay, I did a photo, kind of a photo survey of that whole area of exposed uh, outboard outer cannon surface. Ooh, I got it right. And uh, so I'll dump that last wipe in the bag, grab another one, and I'll uh, apply a little more material, and we'll uh, wipe it down again. So I'll scrape it and wipe it. Do it, do it with the notice of difference. That's correct. Okay. Taking a look at the uh, surface now, I see no discernible difference between the areas. Uh, the two different techniques, I guess they both ended with scraping. I think you're pretty much done with the DTO. Uh, we need closeout pictures, yep. and then uh, we're going to uh, button up the cover. Got it. It's a view of the station arm where it's hooked to the Kibo module, getting it moved to its new home at the Harmony node. In the background, you can also see the tail end of this shuttle as it orbits about with the space station 214 miles above Kansas at the moment. Okay. Again, 2.4 on the Nader outboard. Copy. 
to move back up to Venus. Both those guys are. And then I think what I'm going to do is head around and start pulling those uh, SLRs back down. That'll be faster. Yeah, Hawk, we concur with, with Ron's you recommendation. Now five hours and 42 minutes into the six and a half hour spacewalk. Awesome and Garen are wrapping up the last of their task and getting ready to start carrying tools and equipment back to the station's Quest airlock. You can see now in this view that the Kibo module has been moved all the way up to its new home in, on the Harmony node. The Kibo module is along the right-hand side of the screen here, connected to the shuttle's robotic arm, which is also on top of the Harmony module. Houston from Alpha, this is the CBM operator calling the SSRMS operator who is right next to me. We are go from maneuver to RTL. And SSRMS operator copies, go from maneuver to RTL. Okay, we copy. And Houston Station for Robotics, just to confirm, did you give us a go for JPM install? That's affirmative, Aki. You're a go for JPM install. Good luck. Copy that. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Up and down to the hatch. Kept putting away toys. Coming under the seat of cars, Mike. All right. And CBM operator from you can see operator Kibo's now on its final location as its station and shuttle are orbiting 213 miles above the island of Madagascar. a view of Mike Fossum getting ready to enter the Quest airlock to, to the end of the spacewalk. Also heard earlier the call from the teams on the ground that the station was go for the second stage capture that would mark the official installation of Kibo. We have not heard that that capture actually occurred yet. Mike and Ron, it was a pleasure working with you guys today. Today was the 43rd anniversary of the US, first US EVA conducted by uh, Ed White on Gemini 4. So I think it's appropriate that we had two Air Force guys out the door today in honor of Ed White. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate that. Yeah, good job. And I've got PAO checking to see if Ed White's Capcom was a Navy guy. He would have been a UDT. And Houston and Scuba from the station on the big loop. Uh, we have A bolts confirmed. Uh, congratulations, especially to Scuba. Uh, we have a new hope on the International Space Station. Fantastic job, Aki.